Okay, today we are doing Everyday Math Home Link 5.7 for third grade. And for the first time, we are getting into understanding decimals and fractions. So for number one, we need to take a look at this little square. And if this grid is equal to one, then what part of the grid is the colored in part here? So first let's do the fraction, and if we take a look here, you can see these columns are filled all the way in, and there are three columns filled in, and there are ten columns total. So we have three out of ten filled in. So the fraction is going to be three out of ten. You can write it like this. This is also called three tenths. To write this as a decimal, you put your decimal point and then the number 3 afterwards for 3 tenths, 3 out of 10. For the next one, number 2, we're going to notice now that this column is not filled in all the way. So we can't go by tenths anymore because this column is not filled completely. So now we need to go by every little box in this square and there are 100 boxes in this square so the bottom number of our fraction is going to be 100 and I'm going to let you count the number that you think goes on top of that but you should be able to figure that out pretty easily for the decimal, this is a little bit trickier. We have the decimal point. And a common mistake would be to count this number and then go ahead and write it here immediately. But that's actually incorrect. Because if you had this 9 here, that would mean that all 9 of these columns would be filled in. And they're not. It's only these 9 boxes. So we need to get rid of that 9 and we will put in front of it a 0 then the 9 which means 9 boxes out of 100 for our decimal now number 3 again we have a column not filled all the way in so we can't go by tenths we have to go by every little box in here which means hundreds so for your fraction you're going to have some number out of 100 and I'm gonna let you try to figure the rest of that out on your own now for this next part we need to compare these two uh, decimals 0.3 or 3 tenths and 0 0.09 or 9 one hundredths and you might immediately say 9 is bigger than 3, so 9 is greater. That, however, is incorrect. Let's look again at these two decimals we just did and compare them. If you remember, this first one is 3 tenths. The second one is 9 hundredths. And they both look like this in the decimal. Now, take a look at the actual fractions. This one has this much filled in. This one has this much filled in. Which one's bigger? Obviously, this one is bigger. So, 0.3 is greater. And try the other ones again on your own. Number 5, or number, the other two are number 4. Okay, next we have the color part of the grid. And this is 0.8 or 8 tenths of the grid. So, if we're cover, coloring it 8 tenths, it would be 8 out of these 10 rows you color in. Over here we have 0 0.04 or 4 hundredths. So like this would look like this is a fraction, which means we need to color in 4 out of 100 of these squares. Okay. So this is 8 out of 10 columns, and here we have 4 out of 100 squares. So that should help you color those in, and try the rest on your own, and we'll see how it goes. 
If you have any questions, please just post it and we'll check it later. Thank you.